Hello, Exile, and welcome to this review of the Blood Guy. Oh, come on. You know why you're here. So, Blood Guardian. Now, this is the basically the melee supporter pack for the melee expansion, and from what I can tell um, in the community, this pack is pretty much universally loved. There's a few detractors here and there, but everybody pretty much likes it for uh, one reason or the other. And I think I think there's a few reasons why this is such a hit. Um, I mean, it's a great design. It has good. It's good quality. Good textures all around. It's got great combo potential. Um, it's included with a set of wings, which is always nice. It's a bit, lot better than getting something like a pet. Looking at you, cultist. Also, the other thing that's really nice about it is it contains notable differences for different character models. Now, this isn't the first time we've received something like this. In fact, lots of sets in the past have got, um, have gotten variations for different character models, but we've never gotten one quite to this degree. Um, I'm a little sad that it didn't go all out. It would have been cool to see Marauder in uh, a core set, but you know, whatever. Hey, man, they could have at least done Templar. He's not even wearing pants anyway. Like, it would have been fine. A little edgy, but it wouldn't have been fine. One thing I am wondering about this leak's supporter packs is the lack of any included hideout as opposed to last leak. I wonder if the community's reaction to having hideouts locked behind legacy content last leak caused GGG to rethink their philosophy on that. I don't have a solid answer for you, but it's uh, interesting to think about. So we're going to start off this video with something a little bit different. We're going to take your guys' input and we're going to do some community suggestions while we go through our combos. Zaxxon said he really likes the wings. Maybe some combos with Dragon or Automaton. So let's just start off with the Dragon Wings. By themselves, I don't think they look that great with the set. They're all right. Um, but I think they definitely do improve once you start adding things like the Fire Character effect. Or if you have it, maybe the Dragon Hunter effect. Just to kind of like mesh the burning effects across the entire set. What does match are other pieces of the Dragon Hunter set. Say, say like the gloves or the helmet, these fit really nicely into the color palette that this set has. Continuing the trend of fire, I feel like the fire wings also work really well on this set. Next up is, I can't pronounce it, but Blood Guardian with the Demon Raven wings. This isn't too bad actually. Not my first go-to for a combo, but with the right character effect, I feel like this could really, really stand out. Just depends on what you throw at it, I guess. And maybe with like a different helm. Maybe like the Demon Parasite helm. Make it a little more inhuman. I would like to see the wings with the previous pack that I had forgotten the name of with the Crow Bortles, not the light one. Doom Guard. What you're looking for is Doom Guard. And this is what that looks like. It's not terrible, I feel. There's a little bit of gold in the wings, the, like the metallic gold, and I feel like that throws it off just a little bit. But as far as like the matching color palettes go and the effects go, it's not terrible. While we're on the topic of trying these wings with various other sets, let's try it out with something like Apocalypse. I almost never see this set get any love. I never pull it out for any real reason. I don't know. It just looks, it looks cool by itself, but it's a little too robotic for the world of Rayclast, I feel. But in this context with these wings, it doesn't look terrible. But again, the little bit of gold that's in there is throwing it off. Now with the OG Blood Guard, these wings look amazing. Quite actually quite a bit better than the Blood Guard's own wings, I feel. I feel like the original ones are just a little bit too saturated, whereas the new ones really have a much, much better color palette. Carnage set, they work. Here's what they look like on top of the full Dragon Hunter set. This isn't too bad, honestly. One more set I think this works well with is the Vanguard. Honestly, any reason I can find to pull Vanguard out and make a cool combo with it, I take because Vanguard itself is just such a clean armor, and any time that I get something that like works well with it, I get really excited. Also, I want to hit real quick since we're in combos, I just want to do a few with like the male model simply because this set differs so heavily between like a female model and a male one. As you can see, like on the do list here, it's quite a bit more bulky. It's asymmetrical, it has different shoulder pads, and it's not a core set. I'm still not happy. I want a duelist in a corset. Now, a lot of the combos that ring true on the female model are also going to work here. They're just going to look slightly different because of the different model, but most of them still work. Like your apocalypse cloak is going to still look good. Automaton wings, Bloodguard cloak. This one looks particularly good, I feel. Carnage wings. Yes. Rip Carnage League. You are but a dream. Corsair cloak. I'm really beginning to fall in love with this cloak. It's so just simple, but aesthetically pleasing. And the design on the back is great. 
I'm going to try and use it in more things. Uh, Dark Prism Cloak, Extinction Back Attachment. So before I close out the video, I'm going to go back to the female model and show you guys a combo you can do with this and like some uh, some of the other Extinction gear that looks really cool that I was uh, playing around with earlier. Oil Drain Springs. I feel like these work. I feel like these match the red just perfect. I like him. Pit Fighter is what I feel like should have came with the set. Like it's a melee set. It's brutal. It's It's overbearing. I feel like it should have came with a back attachment like this and not like some wings, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I like the wings. Send wings. I actually don't feel like these work here, surprisingly. Ultimate Chaos are amazing with the actual helmet. That looks insane. And some wasteland gear to just like end it out with a simple combo. That looks really good. So let's talk about the weapon effect. Now the weapon effect is really interesting. So it completely blacks out the blade of whatever it's on and gives it like a magenta hue when it's stationary. And then there's like this odd quadrilateral geometry that constantly like forms and deforms over the like the entirety of the blade. Really cool effect. And when you're walking, it kind of devolves from like the magenta hue into more of like a saturated red yellow, like, a, like the color like blood would make, like when it's spilled on something and it's drying out and it's turning brown. And it's like the same color here. So it's like really flashy when you're standing still and then it looks really gory while you're moving. Now this is on the Void Forge, uh, not Void Forge. This is on Terminus S right now. Now that's on Void Forge. You can see how when it's on something like Void Forge, like the purple, like the inherent weapon of the effect is still present, but you still get the like the magenta glow and the geometry on top of it. Now, another request that we got to see on the channel. There I am, back in focus was this on the Dark Prism weapon, which is what this looks like. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of it on the Dark Prism weapon. Now, like other blades, it like changes the texture of this. It kind of just leaves it gold. And so you have this weird mishmash of colors. You have the gold and blue happening. You have like the magenta and red happening. You have silver from the geometry. It's just like, I don't know. It's uh, on the Dark Prism weapon. I feel like there's too much happening for it to look good. What's interesting though, when it's placed on something like the cleaver, the geometry is only present along the very leading edge of the weapon and not over the entire thing. The ultimate chaos sword looks really good with it. See, I don't I don't understand the logic of why weapon effects sometimes change the texture of a weapon and sometimes they don't. I wish it would just be universal per weapon effect, like this one mats the weapon versus this one doesn't. So it's always difficult trying to find something that works. Before we close out the video, we're going to take a look at some bows real quick. This is Silver Tongue, Roths, Arc of Defiance, Arctic Crystal, Faith Guard, Ivory Arc of Courage, and finally, Viper Bow this abomination so yeah hopefully you have a good idea of what the weapon effect can do let me know if there's any more like base types that you want to see i'll just post like screenshots down in the comments like i do with everything so that's going to be it for me guys i'm going to close out the video on this supporter pack this is the combo i promised you at the end of the combo section this is the extinction helmet back attachment gloves and boots with the blood guardian chest cleaver because cleaver awesome and just the blood guard effect and the wasteland horns. Honestly, this is like the best thing I can come up with for this set. Honestly, and I, th I honestly think this this looks amazing. Um, and I feel like the body armor from Blood Guardian works in this combo way better than like the actual Extinction armor does, simply because it's you know it's cleaner, it's way cleaner. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you to all the community members that posted comments. There was just a few of you guys, but you're awesome. I love you guys. And uh, yeah, if you like this kind of content, subscribe. We'll be doing everything that's released this league just like we did last league um it probably end up being like 10 or 12 videos something like that it's gonna be a fun time i mean we're gonna have a lot of fun yeah and if there's any like anything that i missed just let me know down in the comments and i'll try to get around to it so yeah thanks guys like subscribe keep me alive